Hey guys, today we're gonna go ahead and take a quick look at Dirty Unicorns run for the Nexus 6P. Let's go do this, baby. Hi guys, so I'm running the latest Dirty Unicorns ROM. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick overview for those of you uh, who've never tried this ROM. It is running obviously Android 6.0.1. This is the official version. Now you will find all of your customization options and Dirty Tweaks. Uh, first of all, before I do that, it, it is a really nice ROM, uh, excellent battery life, uh, really, really fast. I really like it. Let me go ahead and show you some of the tweaks you can do. This is all the tweaks you can do if you're still on stock ROM. Um, you're just pretty much, you know, missing out on 99% of what you can do with uh, your phone. So let me go ahead over some of the stuff in here. Uh, there's some miscellaneous tweaks. A flashlight notification and let me see fingerprint authentication vibration you can also turn that off I guess that could save you a little bit battery life um, LCD density you can go ahead and change the LCD density so you can make uh, everything look bigger smaller maybe you use reading glasses uh, mid screen shortcuts for lock screen there's uh, a ton of shortcuts you can add you can add a uh, bottom LR shortcuts, you can change what these things do. Um, let's go ahead and change the camera to, let's say, uh, my Chrome or something, all right? So you can customize all that. Um, perhaps you don't use your camera often. Lock screen notifications, a bunch of options here where you can actually show the maximum lock screen notification so it doesn't go all crazy. Actually, let me try that real quick. I think I have a bunch of it right now. So my lock screen, you see I got, oh my God, plus 22. So I'm gonna be like, screw that. I only wanna see the last three. I guess now you'll only see three, All right? You'll still see how many over there, but um, you can also do that. Weather widget, colors colors and fonts. A status bar, that's your status bar up here. You can go ahead and change the battery bar. Uh, sorry, battery status style. Make it into a circle, oops. Ooh, we got a force close there. So that feature could be a little buggy. <laughs> Let's try it. Oh, no, it worked. It just starts the UI, so don't worry about it. It actually just had to restart the UI. Carrier label, all right? If you want to put your carrier, a custom carrier label. Time contextual header, this is kind of cool. Gives you like different images based on the time. All right, nice cloudy, cloudiness. I know some of you are going to be like, clear notifications. Uh, it's because I, I didn't actually, you know, use my this phone for like a day or two. But I've actually been daily driving this phone very often. So um, also for notifications, breathing SMS, notification count, um, traffic indicators if you want it, navigation, navigation bar. Um, you can go ahead and change this to fling if you want. Um, let me see. Also multitasking, um, you got app circle bar. These are a great way to add uh, shortcuts to the right. Also you got gesture anywhere. Um, this is awesome. You can go ahead and add new gestures. So let me go ahead and add a gesture real quick to Chrome. And you can do this. I think in the future, they will probably add this um, probably to many other uh, phones, sorry, Android. All right, so if I do see like that, it's gonna go to Chrome, Chrome. So you gotta really activate it like that and it will go to um, different things. All right, so that's really cool. And you got uh, option for heads up display. That's your uh, notifications. You can also customize that. You can change that to timeouts. You can blacklist apps. Perhaps there's like a game app that keeps annoying you. This is a great way to blacklist it so it doesn't show up. Uh, whitelist apps that you absolutely need. All right, system. You got expanded desktop. Um, this is pretty cool. If you're using like Chrome, let's say, say uh, hide both status bar and the navigation. So whenever you use in Chromium, it will hide. Um, you'll be able to use the full width of the screen, height of the screen. Right, wake lock blocker, 
uh, block system, uh, lock blocks, blah, weight blocks. Um, you get the idea. It's got a ton of customization. It's really fast. Of course, for theme, you could, I've actually downloaded the Android and style theme. That's actually what I'm going to do next. Um, so my next video will be installing Android N on the 6P, the preview version. But this ROM is pretty cool. The only thing it's missing um, is the stock camera. There's no HDR, so I'm kind of bummed out. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Um, but I just want to give you a quick overview of Dirty Unicorns before you install it. This could help you. Um, but overall, it's a really fast ROM, a really great, great battery life. The only thing, again, I don't like is the cam camera has no ACR. I, I think there may be a way to install the stock camera on there. I'm, I'm sure there is, but um, that's pr pretty much it for right now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Um, watch my next video. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.